This is a uh, this is Daniel. We have a solo podcast. We had a uh, a last second reschedule this week, so we don't really have a full episode. I'm gonna uh, you know do my normal uh, stall thing that I usually do for these episodes, these solo episodes. So uh, and you know what? Why don't you guys? <laughs> I say this every time, but you guys should leave comments, um, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's leaving reviews on uh, whatever podcast platform you're using, and tell me, uh, you know, how do you like the episodes? What do you really want to hear? Who do you want to have on the episodes? Stuff like that. Uh, it, it helps us out, right? I know we've kind of had the same uh, sort of, you know, band of misfits on, on the shows recently. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're trying to figure out, I say we, me, I, I'm trying to figure out sort of what the best way to go forward is, uh, because I do want to keep, keep the show going. Uh, so, um, right now I'm just going to give you guys live updates. We're actually rescheduling <laughs> the show this week. Um, so we're going to see right now we have two people and they both, well, one person wants to do tomorrow night and the other person uh well we'll see if they can do tomorrow um that's the update guys i know you were asking about it anyway um i'm trying to think of what we could talk about tonight uh because otherwise this is going to be a very short episode sometimes you know sometimes do these episodes and uh and i'm able to go quite a long while but tonight it's just <laughs> I'm tired. I had actually. I'll tell you guys what happened. So I made. I, I I do this a little uniquely. Tonight I made a fr. I made some fried rice, but I made it with brown rice. Now my thinking was, uh, tonight I had the podcast. I had some other stuff going on. So to save time, last night, well, I guess I should start over. I know this is this is a terrible way to tell the story, but I was gonna cook the fried rice last night. Then I got an emergent change of plans. Okay, not really emergent. It was more like <laughs> several hours in advance. <laughs> I had change of plans because my parents wanted to go out to dinner. So, okay, so we went out to dinner and that pushed the cooking of the fried rice to tonight. But I did have time after I came home from dinner with my parents last night um, to get going. And I thought, what if I start by cooking the rice t on last night, that way tonight, I can just throw the rice in for my fried rice. I don't have to worry about the cooking, the rice, and then you put it in the pan with all the other stuff, and then you fry it, you know, the whole thing. Um, it's a lot of, you know, it is a lot of work. It's like three different things that I have out. I mean, I got, it's a lot of cleaning at once. This method of cooking the rice ahead of time, I thought would work out really well. And as I was cooking it, I will say, the product came out pretty good. It tasted great. Um, I think in general it works better if you use kind of pre-cooked rice as, rather than cooking it kind of uh, on the fly like you know and I end up usually doing just for time purposes but in this case I had plenty of time so I made it ahead of time now here's oh, here's where it gets complicated uh, my stomach just feels terrible and I'm thinking it has to be related to the fried rice that I just ate uh, I kind of taste it fine but uh, you know something in it uh, it must have just been the rice it must have been uh, bacteria in the rice maybe when it was sitting in the fridge for too long I don't know what the issue is it was only for a day so I don't know what the issue is but we'll see you know what I'm uh, I'm not a smart person so I'm gonna try again tomorrow <laughs> we'll see if I still feel ill um, it's just like you know it's just like a little bit of a stuff it might be that I ate too much that could have been a thing because fried rice is kind of tough because it's hard to t I, you know I put it so Here's another thing. I eat it. I know this may be controversial, but I put I use plates for it because, or I I I, I eat it off of a plate when I uh, as opposed to a bowl. I suppose I should clarify, um, and that's mostly due to constraints for my supply of dishes. I have I use my bowls for breakfast in the morning, so I have limited use of bowls unless you know, you know unless I need to use it for like a like a soup based thing or something like that um everything else you know when i have pasta rice everything else i try to use a plate for just for that purpose again it's just for you utility purposes i don't know i don't even know if i have a preference for how to eat it out of anyway so i used a plate 
I don't know where I was going with that. This is the problem with these uh, like individual random rambling episodes. I I just I just go on and I don't remember what I was getting getting toward. Um, oh, what I was saying was it's hard to understand the perception of how much you're eating when it's just rice. I know this seems ridiculous because you just look at it and you know, but I don't know. Rice kind of sticks together, you know, whatever. It's it's a little tough for me. So it's possible I ate too much of it. Um, but we'll find out tomorrow when I eat a similar amount, if it was, you know, where I change no variables at all. <laughs> um, so that's what I'm doing tonight. Uh, um, I'm trying to think of what else is happening in my life here that I can talk about. Um, we're, we're coming up on the holidays, you know, again, I'm going to solicit uh, in, a, a feedback from my audience here. Uh, tell me what you guys are doing um, for the holidays. Because uh, this, this will come out, you know, yeah, it's coming out tomorrow because we had a, uh, a last second uh, cancellation. Um, and I'm sure they'll talk about it, uh, hopefully, if we can, uh, if we can uh, reschedule this episode. They, they're not responding now. So, again, this is a, another issue that we're having is a responsiveness. Um, so anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think um, to generically anything. I don't know. I just said that again just because. Uh, but um, let's see. December's coming up, and that means January is the following month. That's, that's usually how it works. Uh, you know, we do have kind of a, a unique situation going on this year, I realized. Um, and I'm the first one that ever discovered this, is that the holidays are all I mean holidays and so holidays in general are most are usually on Mondays I'm saying usually right it, it's it's uh, um, you know there's certain holidays like Thanksgiving and such that are you know, on set days that are not then but then most for the most part holidays are all almost are, you know are mostly on Mondays now if you happen to look at your calendar Martin Luther King Jr. Day is on January 15th okay that's a Monday. Obviously, it's always a Monday. Um, I believe it's every third Monday. Is it the third? I want to say it's the third Monday of January all the time. Um, but someone in the comments will correct me. But they won't because they won't leave a comment. Right? We already talked about this. Um, but anyway, Christmas and New Year's, which are always on the same day, right? or same day of the week, I should say, uh, are on Monday as well this year. So... If you took off work, you know, as a normal vacation day on January 8th, then you would have December 25th, January 1st, January 8th, and January 15th. That's four Mondays in a row off work if you did that, you know, if you get these holidays too. Actually, at my last job, they did not celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. Day um, for, for a variety of reasons, and we won't get into that. I, that, that makes it sound bad. It's more just logistical. <laughs> Basically, they, yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> for no nefarious reasons, that was just, 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 you know, you can only have so many holidays. Uh, but anyway, yeah, you get four. You could get four Mondays off in a row if you want that. I don't know if you want that. You know, is that what people value? You know, with with limited vacation time and all that, um, is that what people want? Is sort of a uh, yeah, but anyway, that's uh, that might be the show this week. It's gonna be like a ten-minute episode because I got nothing else for you guys. Um, I do have, you know what? Let me let me also solicit again. I'm gonna solicit the audience. I have this plant that I got as a present. Uh, it's it's two little bamboo sticks. I want to say they're like well, one's a little taller than the other. Let's call it four to five inches. Each of them is four to five inches. That's two of them. Um, and it came in like this little kit and it came with a little, uh, cup, I want to say like a little bowl, um, that you could put the bamboo sticks in, but the bowl is only, um, you know, the circumference is very small and the height is only a couple inches. So it's not covering, you know, at least half of the bamboo stick. So, okay. So if you're asking, why do I care? Or why should you care? Well, I'm asking because it comes with, it also came with a bag of rocks. So theoretically, you put the, the way you do this is you put the rocks in the bowl and then you put the bamboo sticks in, 
or maybe you know I actually I think it would be better to put the bamboo sticks in first and then you cover the whole area with rocks and then you fill it up with water now the watering instruction it, now they, they kind of I mean again it's a little the bowl is a little shallow or cup I don't know what to call it I don't know what you would call that little thing it's not like a vase because it's <laughs> it's it's not uh, well I don't, yeah I don't know it's very small but anyway it doesn't hold a lot of water and the instructions say keep the water level at the top of the rocks which basically means which we oh all well, that doesn't really give me a lot of information because uh, the rock level is however how you make it. It also says keep the roots wet, but the roots you could kind of just tuck, you know, at the bottom. So uh, how much water are you supposed to have? Because I got called out uh, by an unnamed individual saying, why are you keeping the water so high? You don't have to water it that much. And I said, I don't know. The instructions say keep it at the level of the top of the rocks. So what am I supposed to do here? Okay. I don't understand. Uh, someone, again, someone's got to help me with this. Uh, I don't have, if you're asking like, what's the brand, what type of, uh, or, you know, the brand, uh, the company that, that made the kit, you know, what type of plant is it? I can't help you with any of that. I wish I could. <laughs> I don't know where the instructions are now. Um, but it, they're little, two little bamboo sticks. Uh, they're doing okay. Uh, they're actually fine. I have a slightly alternate container that I'm considering switching to that could be a, a little better suited for it, but I don't know. It's still unclear how much water uh, I have to keep in, in these bamboo sticks. Um, and something else that I thought about. Uh, because I don't really, well, I, I hate to say it like this. I don't know if I have enough friends to take care of the house while I'm on vacation. If I go away for a week or so, that plant, I don't know if it's going to make it because I water that plant every couple days. So I don't know what's going to happen with that plant if I have to leave for several days. Um, you know, again, like, you know, most people would say they did someone to house sit to water the plants. Like, that's how life works. But... I don't know. I don't know if I have someone around here that, uh, you know, that lives close enough here that I trust to water the plants. I wonder if I could, you know, give it to the front office or something of the uh, the apartment complex community. Um, that they might. Well, I don't know if they would. They'd probably uh, say they can't do it. Um, it is a lot of work putting a little water, <laughs> putting it on the stick for like a second every few days. It's a lot of work. I don't know if, if, if someone would want to commit to that kind of uh, uh, level of effort. Um, so anyway, uh, we ended up stretching this episode out way longer than it needed to be. This was a stream of conscious episode. Stream of consciousness? Stream of conscience? Not stream of consciousness. Stream of consciousness episode <laughs> where I just rambled on about things going People are always asking me. You know, I bring guests on. And I like to take a back seat. I'm sure if you're if you're a, if you're a dedicated listener, you understand what's happened. You're you you got you're, you're familiar, I guess, with what I'm saying. Is I usually let the guests speak uh, because I figure you know they're the interesting people. I have nothing interesting to contribute. And if they're one and if people and people I've said that before on on podcasts and people go no 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 you have stuff to say. Um, but this example this. Uh, podcast that I'm recording right now is the perfect example of how I don't have something interesting to contribute because I gave you guys about 15 minutes of nothing um, of you know my fried rice and my my bamboo sticks I mean this is just like I, you know what there is one more thing wow I keep saying this is how long the episode is and it keeps dragging out so um, I do have a little squirrel friend because my apartment come my, or my apartment uh, has like a little, I guess a part that juts out where like another, I guess the first floor, um, apartment has another room attached, you know, that juts out or I don't know if it's that, I don't think it's an apartment. No, I don't think it's another apartment. I think it's just like an awning, but the, there's a gutter on the side of this awning. And, uh, I guess just the way it's placed and the way the trees are next to it, it gets tons of leaves and other junk. Everything falls into this gutter. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know if they should be, she should be cleaning it out or if I'm supposed to clean it out. I don't think I would be. I don't think they would clean it that out. But anyway, there's it's filled with leaves and all the other junk that falls off of trees. And there's a squirrel that comes down every day and checks it out. 
and it's amazing to see because I, I work right next to the window, or you know, where my desk is, it's right next to that window. And I could just check out that squirrel every day. And one time last week, it looked right at me. Uh, <laughs> we made eye contact for, I don't want to exaggerate, so I want to give you a, the most accurate time length possible. I want to say three or four seconds, which doesn't sound like a long time, but that's a decent amount of time to make eye contact with an animal. Uh, and yeah, it, we made eye contact. And I looked this up on, uh, you know, fakenews.com, and squirrels do get desensitized to human beings, right? Because I think uh, naturally squirrels are supposed to uh, be afraid if, uh, you know, makes eye contact or gets near a human being. But this squirrel, I guess, is so accustomed to humans. It lives in the, you know, sort of suburban city-ish that I, that I live in right now. Um, that it, it, you know, it gets tons of uh, interaction with humans, that it's probably very desensitized to, uh, to human beings. Um, so that's probably why, and again, this is not, this is not, you know, this is fake science that I'm talking about. I, have, I cannot confirm any of this. This is just from my basic understanding of how squirrels work, which again, I'm not a squirrel expert. Um, but yeah, so the squirrel uh, made eye contact, and I guess that's just a thing be, that it can do, but it, it comes down every day, except and I ha that's why I have to. That's why I'm bringing this up today. I didn't see the squirrel. I don't know what happened. Is the squirrel in a different area? Did it move? Did it move with its family? You know, did it get relocation assistance when it moved? I don't know. But it wasn't here. And I, you know, admittedly, it rained yesterday, and the uh, I'm gonna call it a trough because it's the gutter, but it just gets so much junk in it. It's a trough of goodies, probably that squirrels love. Uh, but it looked pretty cleaned out. I mean, I will say, the squirrel that's usually there, it, it cleaned it out pretty well. It did several passes back and forth on that gutter. And the length that I'm talking about is not that, we're talking about like a 10 feet. Not like, you know, because it's just this little awning thing. So it can't be more than 10 feet long. So it's not a lot of length. And it did several passes last, uh, whatever day last week that I was watching. Maybe Friday. Yeah, it was either Thursday or Friday. Uh, that I saw doing this. And again, if you're asking, is this what you do at work all day? And let me tell you, maybe. I can't confirm that. or <laughs> I will confirm or deny that's what I do at work all day. But it is something that happens um, that I can see. <laughs> for when I, On the days that I work from home, I get to uh, watch this squirrel go back and forth. Um, but not this not this week. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe it'll be back tomorrow. Because again, it rained yesterday, so maybe you know the stuff is still clearing out. Maybe the squirrel found it has a rainy location you know two locks down and it comes back here at the end of the week or something i don't know you know anything can happen with this girl and i would not be surprised um, but we're kind of best friends now um, i will need a name for the squirrel um so maybe you guys can uh can suggest a name because i'm not really good at creating names or having fun names it's just going to be a, a generic name like eric or something like that you know or stacy it's not it's not going to be very exciting so I, I need you guys to, uh, to I, I don't, and if you, uh, that's another thing. I don't know what the gender of the squirrel is. I don't want to assume. Um, and I don't know how you identify that. I don't even know if I want to look that up, you know? Will I get on some weird list if I look up how to, how to determine the gender of a squirrel? I don't know. I don't know if that's important, you know? Maybe squirrels, uh, you know, are very fluid in that aspect. I want to be open to, uh, to whatever type of, uh, uh, you know, situation squirrels live in. So uh, anyway, that, I, I, I gotta end it now. I mean, we, we got deep into squirrel <laughs> biology, so I think that's a good place to end it. Um, so thank you guys for, for listening. If you made it this far, if you listen almost 20 minutes in now, uh, you're, you're a true fan. I gotta give you that. You really, you really are committed to uh, the bit here. Um, and I don't know, we, we have, what episode number is this? I'm going to, you know, we're going to extend the episode again, and we're going longer. I keep saying we're at 282, so we're almost at episode 300. Let me know, guys, if you have, like, a, you know, an all-star cast that you want on the episode. We can try to make that work. Um, again, as tonight showed, uh, sometimes it is difficult to get guests, but, uh, you know, if, if we have enough planning, we could probably get a, a decent-sized guest. I don't want to have, you know, 20 people on or you can't hear anyone and no one gets to talk. But, but we could have, you know, four or five people on of, of everyone's favorite guests. So just let me know. And uh, with that, I will uh, defer to the theme song. <laughs>